do another show again. Right. Tell your friends to stay home too. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck dog. Fuck the job. Right. Fuck McDonald's. We don't want anybody at these fucking shows. You understand? None of them. Nobody. Those are some good life lessons. Hello, patrons of my films. Tonight's feature comes to us from Spain and the year 1979. Directed by Juan Pique Simon, it's about an alien named Kronos who comes to Earth to prevent the mad scientist, Dr. Gulick, from taking over the world. Using the He-Man sounding cry of, Forces of the Galaxy be with me, he transforms himself into a superhero called Supersonic Man whose superpowers appear to be as endless as they are vague. This includes the ability to fly and make porn stashes appear and disappear at will. His foe, Dr. Gulick, has kidnapped Professor Morgan, who has invented the world's most efficient fuel source, the essential element in his plan for world conquest. Aiding him in his evil scheme is an army of minions from a Devo video, as well as a dime store tin robot. Can the Spanish super knockoff and glitter Todd save the day? Will my audience sit through this slow motion train wreck? There's only one way to find out. Don't touch that dial. Uh, remote. Um, mouse. For the exciting adventure, as good as the first Fantastic Four movie, and not as bad as the second. I bring you... Super Sonic Man. Now, there's some really good kit bash in there. Looks like a Katamari rolled through a Goodwill store. You thought we wouldn't recognize half of a Cylon fighter when it's this close? That's supposed to be a tanning salon, I can tell you right now. It's not working. He's whiter than an albino's penis. Supersonic, return to life, terrestrial, so that you may circulate freely, speaking and behaving like one of them. We oh yeah, <laughs> looking like a luchador stripper. You should fit right in. Which will make you almost invincible. You may the force of the galaxies Go with well, I don't know what his mission is, but if it's the smuggle budgies, he's certainly dressed for it. Super Sonic Man is off to do another stripper gram. Hey, there's no money in being a superhero. Super Sonic Man has bills to pay. Superhero tip. If your arms get tired while flying, you can always take a break by resting one behind your back. No sign of Earth yet? I think you jumped out of the ship a little early. Hey, where are you going? You can't get in at this hour. Ah! Still waiting for one security guard somewhere that will make a difference. You can tell these ocean inspectors don't fuck around. When it comes to running a clean dairy, no shortcuts will be tolerated. Judging by their aim, the similarity to Empire Stormtroopers is purely superficial. This reminds me of when Chinese toys were worth a shit. Wax? I don't see any wax holding the switch in place. Obviously, this guy was bullied in high school for being in the marching band. He could never let it go. <laughs> Who 
it's taking these thieves so long? If this was L.A. and those were Air Jordans, they would have been loaded by now. Biohazard suits like those, whatever's in that box must be pretty toxic. Probably soiled baby diapers. All this fuss over baby diapers. It's probably why disposables took over. It certainly takes someone with a profound knowledge of its mechanics to put it out of action. Guy in a turtleneck with a porn stash sipping from a Holly Hobby tea set. Hey, Marvel. You think you're the first to introduce a gay superhero? Obviously, you haven't met Supersonic Man. Was the professor familiar with all the research that's going on in the various sections of the center? Yes. May the great force of the galaxies be with me. Well, one thing's for sure. These two will never be mistaken for the same guy. You think he wears a cape to help him fly? Wrong. He wears it to cover up his prolapsed rectum. Yeah, the car looks a little junky, but that's okay. It's gonna get blown up anyway, so... Sorry. When it comes to suspension of disbelief, flying fruitcake in a cape, no okay. But to cross the Brooklyn Bridge and make it to the suburbs in two minutes in New York traffic, well, <laughs> I've got my limits. makes balsa wood steamrollers like Acme. The brakes! The brakes! He's out of control! I don't think brakes are your problem. The steamroller. He just lifted it. The steamroller? Are you joking? Are you really alright? Hey, drop the wimp act, Clark Kent. Your bird chest and chicken legs is all you need to fool her. And where did you suddenly appear from? From the highway. I saw the car chasing you when it went over. Why didn't you call the police? Why? You were all right and there was nothing anyone could do for the others. The police will find them. Don't worry about the hit and run vehicular manslaughter. It's well, New York. They have no fault insurance. It make the police nervous. But we'll have to notify them. Don't forget my car is still there. Switchboard operators in 1979. Korea Hotel? What's that? Harrison? I was about to tell you the operation failed. The two men I sent after her had a fatal accident. What in blazes are you saying? Uh, they're dead. Are you Don't shit. That Patricia Morgan is not under our control. That's right, sir. We're keeping... Come on, Super Sonic Man, do something! How about changing into your sparkly tights and giving a few lap dances? That'll put them back in their seats. Grab her. Kind of stereotype Americans do it right. It's ketchup we use on everything. May the force of the galaxies be with me. Yay, finally! We get Black Panther and meet Pink Panther. Man, 
You, you forgot man. Dumbass. Don't say anything, George. Wow, I haven't seen special effects like this since I dream of Genie. They told us to dispose of this guy we didn't even know. They promised we'd be well paid as soon as we got rid of him. Come on, uh, get out. No. Hurry up. Let's go. Give me a hand. At this point, we should all just call him Subsonic Man, because there's no way that doll is doing more than 25 miles per hour. Let's go. Well, there goes your banana. How are you going to stuff your briefs now? Don't be afraid. Afraid? With that package coming at her? <laughs> you must be joking. All this fuss over a boombox. You know, Sony Walkmans were available in 1979. I can empathize with this film's director. When I was a kid, I blew up every model I ever built as well. Bravo! Bravo! Oh, Supersonic is on to something. Looks like he's uncovered a large pallet jack smuggling operation. What's going on here? Looks like someone's doing work. Obviously, this is not a union operation. Keep your eyes peeled. I think I saw somebody nosing around. Hey! Knocked out. Again! Jumping without his yoga pants and he's just mediocre man. Dream, old man. And it's a bad dream. Morality, what the hell is that? Good over evil morality is finished. It's over. Yeah, he sounds evil, but if he wants to be a Berkeley liberal arts professor, he's just gonna have to kick it up a notch. No. You speak of force. Soon you will know the true force. <laughs> You're in a good mood, eh? Yeah. Yeah. She seems to be taking the whole father was abducted by an evil madman thing pretty well. Why? It's not often a girl is lucky enough to count on the help of a superman. Come on, let's not exaggerate. Who's exaggerating? Don't you think it's important to have the help of supersonic? Supersonic, supersonic. Well, let's forget him. But actually, I can count on the help of two supermen. <laughs> now, nah, don't try to cover up. But you two never appear at the same time. There's one way to find out if it's the same guy. Check his junk. I don't think so. <laughs> hey, what's this? No, thanks. Why not? It don't cost nothing. May the force of the galaxies be with me. All right, who here would use their superpowers to beat the crap out of that drunk? Maybe it was He's going to fly all that way and realize that he can't buy champagne. Because superheroes can't fit wallets into their yoga pants. Why and the how of this energy? I hope you never find out. You idiot. You old idiot. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a cigarillo smoking dork who wears gloves indoors. Oh, perfect power. This reminds me. I've got to go do something. Just 
fast asleep, probably dreaming about something harmless like puppies, kittens, the supersonic man's package. Just a dream. Huh? Wow, he went through that door like it was tissue paper. Yes, you damn maniac! <laughs> Shoot him! Shoot! Finally. An hour and 15 minutes too late, if you ask me. And all that flying has made his arms tired, so he took the elevator. Destroy him! Destroy him! Judging by the way he's running, I think he has a wedgie. sell alcohol in Spanish theaters, because apparently the director was hoping these random mom motions would be mistaken for superpowers. When the alarm sounds, these minions really know how to hurry up and do nothing quickly. I'm sure when the whole place goes, their deaths will be just as pointless. He may suck at fighting superheroes, but he's great at burning down your office. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Minions, Thunderbirds are go. Fuck yourself. What you get for working at a non-union plant. Could be worse. You'd be working at a union carbide in Bhopal, India. to the professor to hold a selfie stick during this shot. Uh -huh. Professor Morgan, look after him. Notify his daughter.
hopefully you've learned something. Next time you're at a jobs fair, don't go with the first company that's hiring. Hopefully, Supersonic Man will come back, check for survivors, and kill them too. A time to live and a time to die. It's startling to realize that at this point in time, Star Wars had already been out for two years. Fourth of July, everyone. Any complications? It's all going very well. Your father will be home in a week. You can see him now for a few minutes. But please don't tire him. Thank you, Doctor. Father. Father, how do you feel? Fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. Call in Orson. Come in, Orson. Right. Really? Yes. <laughs> I was so worried about you. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Your mission accomplished. Activate location signal. Rendezvous in 90 minutes. Activate location signal. Nanu, nanu. Yes, I'm sure this little gadget's going to bring us good luck. If this film didn't make money, then they should definitely consider suing Fire in the Sky. Folks, there you have it. Proof that you don't have to spend a lot of money to make a superhero movie. You just need a willingness to rip people off. Something that I've been a proponent of my entire life. Hollywood could learn a lot from this business model. As it seems to me, they spend a ton of money on their films and their audiences still feel ripped off. So how about it then? You noob filmmakers could really learn a lot. Just follow this film's blueprint of Mego action figures, cardboard robots, and paper mache islands, and you too can make something better than Captain Marvel any day of the week. Phone lines are now open. Act now, and I'll even throw in this Stretch Armstrong, so you can have the Fantastic Four crossover into your movie. Huh? Huh? Alright, fine. The next time you run another superhero franchise into the ground, don't come crying to me. And I'm sure Ryan Johnson will be very understanding. Meanwhile, if you're still on a low budget, be sure to come back here next week for another exciting feature not sleazy pictures after dark. Good night.
Losers. You're talking to me. Yeah. Do you want what are we going to rap about today? Uh, my name is Scott. I'm from 887 WLUW in Chicago. My name is Pustus Maximus. I'm here to talk today, to you about sir? Lord Jesus Christ. Do you love Lord Jesus Christ? Nope. We are a Jesuit institution. Oh, Any really? Thoughts? You know how I could tell? Facial okay. hair. Yeah? You have a very Christian cut. What do you think of it? I think it's very Christian-like of yeah. you. Appreciate it. How are you, sir? I'm miserable, thank you. What's your name? My name is the Berserker Blothar. Very nice to meet you, Blothar. I'm Scott. Scott. Humans always have such stupid names. You think so? It's the one syllable that my mother liked. That's I why like, she gave it to me. I like names like Champ and Sport. Those are good names for kids. Yeah, Zippy. I'm going to call you Zippy. Zipper? Zippy. Zippy. Zippy, yeah. Let's do it. I'm cool with that. Pinhead. All right, let's go. I got a couple questions. It won't keep much of your time. Uh, Blood of Gods uh, is about humanity's rise and all its sins. And I'm curious, what is, in your opinion, humanity's greatest sin? Humanity's greatest sin is existence. Yeah. Humanity's greatest sin is the fact that they're still alive on this planet. Humanity needs to be obliterated. In what way? How should we be obliterated? Death way. Death yeah, yeah, that's our aim, is to, to abort it. To, to abort it. To be dead and locked in purgatory for all of eternity. That's the way to be. Not hell? Purgatory? I don't know. I think hell seems is like this, a good Is this time. hell? Uh-huh. Is earth hell in this life? You know, one of my ex-girlfriends told me they had a special seat for me there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But you know what? F*** that bitch. Ooh. Yeah. Harsh words. Deserved? I guess. I don't know. It's the price you pay for loving somebody as delicate as a flower as I am. You know, I've got a lot. I've, you know, I like to consider myself a holy man. You know, I wrote a couple passages in the Bible. Really? Not to mention, I collect quite a few of them. Yeah. He also has a lot of holes, literally. A lot of what? I'm sorry. Holes. He's holy. Oh. Holes. Yeah. Ah. Holy. Uh, holy. How many holes? More than I could count. I think Tight. that's two. Maybe so, three. I'm curious to know, the uh, in 1989, The Cure put out their great album, Disintegration. I'm curious if you have any thoughts on the anniversary of that album, if you know it. The Cure? The Cure. Yeah. The Cure for what? They have not cured the HIV. The Cure for depression. Uh, Robert uh, Smith? Oh, you're talking about the fatso that cries all the time? Yeah. That's uh, him with the hair? Uh, with, with the hair. Uh, you know, I'll tell you one thing. That guy is f- Smart. That's what I, I like him. I like the way he treats people like you. That's what I like. Me too. Yeah. I think he's a smart ass. That's right. He destroyed Barbara Streisand on South Park. Yeah, yeah. And what? anything. Where'd I, you I, come over? I just like to interview this gentleman here. We've been joined. What? 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 what uh? Have you had any trouble finding work? Okay. Work? Do you, Do you need work? Yes. What are you? Uh, will you clean tour bus? I do digging. Will you dig a hole for this guy? Yes. Cool. Problem solved. Uh, I'm gonna dig that hole, and meanwhile we're gonna kill you. And I'm not gonna pay him. It's okay with me. I'm not gonna get the money anyway if I'm dead, right? Nope. Tight with me. Uh, what is the place in f- this place? Anywhere. Anywhere. Use your imagination. Yeah, I mean, at any given moment, if you say f- this place, it's accurate. It applies. Anywhere you are, you know, it's kind of like the theme song from Full House or Everywhere you are, everywhere this you place. go, yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. heart, there's a heart. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you like Full House? Yeah. Family Matters? Yeah, it reminds me of, it, it, it's painting a picture of the lives I've destroyed over the years. Mm. You know, I like to focus on ripping that happiness out of someone's home. Yeah, it's like, it's like porn. It's like, oh, that's what keeps me going every day. Yeah, yeah. For us, full house is porn. Full porn? Full porn. John full Stamos porn and the like. Yeah. Very attractive. You know, I tell you, though, if you need something relaxing to look at while you defecate, if you hang pictures of John Stamos and dolphins jumping out of the water in your ba- in, the, in your bathroom, that's very relaxing. Mm-hmm. It's very relaxing. Stamos has a relaxing look to himself. It's true. I agree. I won't take up any more of your precious time. I know you have killing to do. 
and lives to destroy, and I would hate if I could take it from take that away from you. Yeah. So I'll let you go on your way. <laughs> yeah. It was really great to talk to you. I appreciate it. Cool. Uh, drop out of school. Do some drugs. What drugs? Uh, the affordable ones. That's good advice. Yeah. Thank you. Don't. Yeah, you don't want to go into debt. Actually, yeah, I later. do have one final question. I'm okay, sorry. Okay. What is your opinion, if any, on college radio in the city of Chicago? Radio. It's better than it. normal radio. Yeah, yeah. College radio. It's, it's like everything in college, you know. It's, it's like, like like you. I mean, you, you know, you're, you're holding on to this irony, this irony that distances you from the world, but it's just because you're deeply unhappy inside. You know what? It's very true. Oh yeah, baby! Went from cereal boxes to a surreal fox. Mrs. Caitlyn Jenner. Oh! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh boy! Terribly sorry. Yeah. They raped me and put a baby in me. Oh fuck! Wait, dude! This but is... dude, you're a dude, dude. Not it. Uh, this is this is terrible. I identify as pregnant. Uh, well, I'm afraid that you're not going to be pregnant for very long. the pussy, Gua. Let's see some of those gender fluids. Looks familiar. Hey, hey looks, 
He looks kind of familiar. Ballsack! Ballsack, come on, man! You dirty fucker! Ah! You think I don't know what happened here? All right! Fucking Chicago! See, in Chicago, we have our own sacramental wine known as Jepson's Malort. I already know that it tastes like shit. And if you didn't want to kill me before, you might want to kill me now after taking a sip of this. Would anybody want to participate? Partake? It looks awful. Thing? It looks like piss. Give it to you him. Guys never he likes piss it. Let's not go there, okay? I see, and that doesn't prove to me that it's not piss. Fine. He's gonna like it. Uh, He's gonna love it. That. That's piss. I don't know. I don't know where you're Here, here. Yeah! Damn, right here. I love my Lord. Oh, you love it? Oh, hey, there he is! I mean, Adrian, I Quar loves my Lord. I love my Lord. That's piss!
Flores. Anybody wants to say no to talking to the intergalactic war dogs known as Guar. Anybody smart wants to say no. All right, what the hell is going on here? Um, I think we're going to try to talk about some stuff. All right. What do you want to talk about? Now that's your fucking job. Come on now. Well, sorry. I'm just trying to give you the opportunity to discuss whatever it is you wanted to discuss <laughs> instead of my stupid radio interview questions, you know? Well, you know, we want to fucking... I'll tell you what we want to do. You can say fuck, it's fine. We want to take a dump. That's what we want to do. At home. At home. You guys just... You, you just started your tour, though. It's long enough, man. I've been, I've been in this shit for days, man. I, I don't even know what's real anymore. I'm ready to fucking go home where it's safe. And I could fucking do crystal meth all night, shoot my guns in the air, where I feel protected and safe. Quit doing crystal meth and shooting your gun. I fair enough. Yeah, you do meth? You got any? Uh, no. Yeah, it's, pretty, no. it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. They, I mean, they used to say cocaine's a hell of a drug. Meth is way more of a hell of a drug. Well, meth is man-made, therefore somewhat perfect. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not man-made. It's hillbilly-made. That's the best kind. It's very it's like the old distillers of the of the twenties and thirties, but with drugs. <laughs> like, I mean you know, just like the old saying goes, nothing gets you high like drugs. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, so talk to me about you guys for a second. Uh, I, and I wanna bring up Odorous for one minute because you just uh, you're just able to put a really a very cool memorial uh, on his gravestone in Richmond. Um, what did that mean for you guys to be able to do that? To uh, to Odorous, um, who, who is a guy that used to join me on radio shows every few months back in the day. So, well, it's a, it's good. It's it's a, it's good. People have a place to go and pay their respects. Finally, you know, and we wanted to do this a long, long time ago. But you know, it's it's real fucking distracting when people try to come out of the woodwork and sue you for thinking that we're worth fucking millions. Yeah. I mean, we. We're, I mean, not. I don't mean to brag, but we have made hundreds of dollars at this point you know that's right but hundreds but millions i'm not so sure about yeah what are you talking about you're the iconic guar you I mean, must be giant filthy rich rock stars we do this for the love of the art guar is bigger than they are richer i don't that's, know that's well, like I the perfect love, way to say we're, that we're, actually we're 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 rich in other ways there you go yeah. there you go money can't buy you love but it can buy you a free ticket out of jail and a rape trial. Yeah. After, uh, after Dave passed away, I'm sorry, Order has passed away, um, was it a hard decision? He didn't he, pass away! Okay, after he went to his final resting spot, um, in where? Where would his final, I mean, the, the gravestones in Richmond, but where would, where would Odorous his final resting spot actually be? We don't know where the fuck he is. All he right. still owes me yams. Yams. He took, like, every yam I had. Motherfucker. <laughs> but the decision to keep the bar brand going, keep, keep the keep the records coming, keep the tours coming, keep the fans involved, uh, I, I have to imagine for you guys specifically, uh, that being kind of a hard decision to make uh, to do that. Am I? I I blacked out for a minute. Did you? Too much meth? You didn't even do any yet. That's I, why. Oh no! I was just thinking about. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was I was trying to think about questions to ask Anthony. I gave you the I gave you the opportunity to ask yourself your own questions and you didn't want to. So now I have, now you have to deal with the dumb radio. Look, what is this like a fucking supermarket checkout? You know, now you have to do it yourself. It's ridiculous. Yeah, dude, self checkout, self interview. That's the way I prefer it. Then I can go home and do drugs. All right. What's the worst thing you've ever done to another human being? What's the worst thing I've ever done to another human being? I'm not legally allowed to answer that question. Do what? I'm not legally allowed to answer that question. Oh, well, that's fine. Do I mean, you have any children? Enough. I'm also not legally allowed to answer that question. I if you're going to sacrifice you. anybody, sacrifice her. A pretty good interview, you know? All right. Good enough. All right. Good enough. Uh, seriously, though, uh, the rest of the year, what's the, I mean, Guar, there's new music. There's more new music coming. Am I wrong? Well, we're going to go and throw a bunch of money away in foreign countries this winter and not make another record. That's called touring, by the way. Huh? That's called touring. Oh, yeah. Of, uh, we're going to tour Europe and then come home 
and talk about making a record, but not make it. Or we might make a really subpar one that nobody's happy with on the other side. That's what I'm aiming for. I think that's good goals. You, you know, the, the part of being goal oriented is make sure your goals are actually attainable. You know, set realistic goals. Make a bad album and create, you know, create frustration with, between the band. You know, that's. Keep your standards low and you're always a success. This guy, you have so many great, like, what inspirational. Do you think, what do you I'm think inspired so successful? right now. What do you think Guar is at the top? I can't even continue this conversation. I'm inspired to do more stuff now. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Seriously, uh, thank you so much for taking a couple minutes. And it's really good to see you. All right. So we're shutting it all down. Everyone go home. There will be no concert here today. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, he's got a, got a beer. Cheers. 
or we have beers being handed out. Oh, that's that's the Metallica beer. These Metallica. You only have one? What the hell? Hey! You only got one? Now this isn't bad, but this is not a Pilsner. This is clearly an ale. This is not a Pilsner. What the hell? Question. What is our first question here? Well, the first the first question is is. Do you think that they're trying to advertise this beer by giving us one for four fucking people? <laughs> That's probably a ploy. They're probably well, all trying I know to get is you. It says Pilsner. It's clearly an L. It's not a fucking Pilsner. Americans don't know shit about Pilsner. Ah, here we go. War is not liking it. But it's for, no, I didn't say that. It's I just said it's not a Pilsner. <laughs> False advertising. It's, an it's free. And I mean, yes, free. it's free. So it gets a pass. Well, yes. <laughs> All right, well, tell me this. Metallica gets a pass. And Kirk Hammond's <laughs> kick ass because he likes horror as much as I do. So, all right. <laughs> well, that is a good point. And he likes war. Dude, who doesn't like war? Uh, Carrie King. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck Carrie. Yeah, I say that. Damn. Damn. But we like you, like Carrie. Carrie, we like you. Come on, Carrie. We, we, love you. we love you long time. Well, I'll tell you what. You want to show some love. All right. If you if you fuckers were president of the U.S. Uh, we are. You are? Yeah, Blothar just became president. So. Uh, yes. We just had to explain that to yes. The anyway, yeah. your question: If if if, Guar, the, if you guys had control, well, what, what, what the fuck would you guys do? Say? The whole what, intergalactic what? fucking yes. If I was the current president of the United States, go on. I would fucking kill myself right now, you cunt. Oh. Are you sure you wouldn't oh. name things on the toilet? Tweet it? I would tweet my own suicide on the toilet. Would you would you collude with anyone? Who would you collude with? I would collude with a fucking sharp knife. Through my guts, first downwards and then to the side across, and then I would pull my guts out and I would say, I'm sorry, America, for fucking you all up! Ah! I was gonna say Russia. I mean, like, that's like a better answer, but I was gonna say Russia. I think these are all hopeful suggestions for the president. president Is a fucking piece of shit. Oh, there is your opinion, guys. That's right. Now, is the beer any good? It's not Hon- bad, but honestly, it's, it's honestly. not bad for an ale. It is not a pilsner. A pilsner. It says pilsner right here. It is not. This is more of a pilsner than this, but this is warmer than this. Somebody doesn't like it either. They threw the motherfucker over in the yard. What? Yes. It's cold and it's okay. Ah. It's a waste. Pal. It's alcohol in there. Right. Exactly. So then what else did you want to know? Was there anything else? You have Qua right here with you. What else would you like to know from your lords and masters? Come on. Make it a good make it a good one so you can survive, okay? Make it a good make it a good question. I have a, I have a, ser- a serious question. Okay, serious question. Wait, I a, serious- a serious question. Who has the biggest dick in Guar? Oh god. <laughs> Are we talking about length or girth? Width or depth? Either what are we or. looking for? Talking about intelligence or <laughs> height or circumference <laughs> yes, or... circumference is important, I believe. Or uh, load-bearing and string. <clears throat> what about volume? Volume, volume of spew. <laughs> volume <laughs> and, and, and length of spew. I mean, it's, too, spew it's too complicated of a question. Direction, uh, best used as a crowbar. <laughs> It's a loaded question. I, yeah, I think I, I think it's a fully loaded question. All right, well there we're all loaded. All right, yes. Everybody's loaded now. It, this is a fucking festival. It's a party, guys. I mean, it's war. In the afternoon war. And everyone is shit face right. hammered. Yes, and we are rocking the fuck out. All right. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah Enjoy right. the beer. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Right. The ale. <laughs> you guys fucking suck now. <laughs>
I want to know in your home planet of Scumdogria, you know, you got a lot of other bands like Lamb of God, Municipal Waste, Cannabis Corpse, Inner Arma. Is there like a metal scene in which you guys come from in Planet Scumdogria, or did you guys not get known until you invaded Earth and started killing us humans? What do you mean? Are we known intergalactically? Yeah. Yes. And, you know, one thing that Guar has done that no other band in Richmond from, has done is take other up and coming Richmond bands on tour. Paid it forward, which we should never have done. It was a mistake. Really? Yeah. Oh, do they not give you the credit you deserve? Guar will never get the credit we deserve. We'll only get the jail time we deserve when it's all said and done. There you go. It's oftentimes, I, mean, I thought it was Lamp of God. Lamp you know, of Gold. Yeah, and, and it wasn't. You know, I don't even know. The, the bands that you're mentioning, by the way, are not from Scum Dog yet. They're from a shithole called Richmond, Virginia, which is unfortunately where we occasionally have to go because we have some friends and family that are based out of there. There you go. So bring out 